peace long time no chat um i thought i'd do like a health update talk type video um before i try to edit anything else i gotta really look at footage to see what i'm gonna choose to still upload because i feel like i'm months behind and some things might not even be relevant anymore um it's been a hell of a last two months especially this month um health wise before i get into that i want to tell you something that's bothering me well there's plenty of things bothering me but one of them is so <clears throat> I prefer to go to my primary and um, to be honest I was really self-conscious as well as hesitant to go to the ER or even go outside or anything like that <clears throat> so like my thoughts were urgent care or do a walk-in with my primary because her appointments wasn't till like the end of November into December, right? And I'm like, how awkward is this gonna be? <laughs> uh, asking for a walk in and all that. So this is like my social anxiety talking, right? Um, the issue with the ER is, <clears throat> if some of you recall, just the way. I've been treated by the last hospital I was dealing with and all the mishaps and nonsense or disregarding in certain um, emergency departments, right? Anyway, so I woke up in the middle of the night, Sunday, which is not a regular because my sleep isn't the best, but this time I woke up feeling super focused. I'm like, let me look on the site again. And my assumption is somebody canceled. And they happened to be an appointment for Monday. Evening. So I'm like, all right, cool. Boom. Whatever hesitation or feelings you got, whatever was going on, you won't have to go. Because, <laughs> um... It is not feeling right. So I did all that. I'll come back to the actual appointment. Fast forward to me coming home. So going down the stairs. Had to be careful. But it wasn't as painful as coming up the stairs. Especially after walking around. Because I also left early to stop at Trader Joe's. Um, didn't see what I was looking for, but anyway, mind you, I only took the chance to walk in there pain-wise because I haven't been outside in probably six weeks. Anyway, so I'm coming back upstairs. My neighbor comes out because she wants something. Um, but I guess the pain's on my face, so she's like, oh, you in pain, take your time, whatever, whatever. So she's like, oh, what doctor say, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, well, I got to see the results tomorrow, which is today. Um, oh, they doing gastric bypass? Like, mom, when you go and get your surgery and I try to pass it off like a natural thing, me ask you any question? Me not ask you nothing. Because, you know, one thing about me saying, me I mind my business. <laughs> The only person, the only people that could ask me that question are close friends, really. Not even family got that privilege. Because another thing that's irking me is people think they're helpful when they're constantly watching you. Even just with, like, work environments or anything, 
The quickest way to throw me off my game is to be hovering over me. And that's for me in general. Like constantly asking me, why are you eating that? Have you done this? Um, telling me I need to lose weight multiple times a day. That's not helping me. I already have a negative environment in my head. Now to have it outside, well, it was already here, but to have it outside amplified makes shit worse. But anyway, back to this nearby. Yes, yeah, so why are you asking me that? Matter of fact, is it your business? Anyway, I answered her. No. I'm going to tell y'all right now, this conversation between me, you, and you, that would be the last resort, because no tea, no shade, I don't like the way people look after surgery. Well, some people, it's like this, and I know what you're about to say, oh, you're talking about vanity, oh, 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 oh. I still got to look at myself in the mirror, right? And once I get that surgery, it'll have to follow with probably two or three after it. Because at the speed it will drop, <laughs> everything else is going to drop. <laughs> so you have to get it, like, cut off, right? Like, allow me. <laughs> like, don't walk around asking people that question. Like, we cool. I semi like you. But we ain't cool. Like, you understand? Just like when family want to tell me about other people's business or, like, people want to tell me about other people. I don't care. I really don't. If you and I are close, I care about your welfare, yes. Do I care about... John neighbor son welfare and what John neighbor son I do to Kati no cause that's not me <sighs> anyway short summary of what's been going on it's been really debilitating pain it's only been in the last week and a half or so that I've been able to sit up for an extended period of time um there was a good period of time where I couldn't even really walk around without feeling like I'm about to fall over in pain. Um, so, before y'all would be like, oh, why are you telling me to go to the doctor? Already went there. <laughs> but yeah, I um, went there yesterday. I got blood work. Um, some results came. There's a couple of things that's abnormal. I'm waiting for the physician's notations on it. Um, I've had a lot of bloating, swelling, like a bowling ball looking type ish. You know what's funny? Well, not really ha ha funny. Like, interesting funny. Is I wasn't sure any pants or anything was going to fit. But, um, I don't know what time of the month, the second time this month, I feel like I wanted to wear something more structured. Like, I like stiff jeans. I know sometimes you go have to size up or whatever, whatever, depending on. But, I don't know, I just, like, I feel like the structure looks better on me than, like, stretchy things where we've talked about this and fashion stuff. But anyway, um, I wasn't sure anything was going to fit. <laughs> um, matter of fact, the scale is up, and I'm 90% sure half or at least 25% of that is all in my stomach because it does not look right um but it still fit like 
and it's a pants that don't have no stretch so I was actually shocked that's also what makes me believe like it's not all like solid fat like It's just weird. Anyway. I thought I saw something. So, that's that. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, there's some Bath and Body Works stuff I wanted to show you all. It's not really that interesting. <sighs> Adding another meds. After I'm on it a while long. I'll let you know if it's doing anything. Um... I don't know, like, the way I'm feeling about things is, like, I just need a different environment. I'm not even going to say a more supportive environment because when you get to the point of being very aware, you know that your connections to certain people just ain't going to be no different. Um, they're not going to act any different, and... I think like a lot of it within myself aside from always seeming to have something wrong and not knowing what exact job I'm gonna have with all this shit going on is um changing my lifestyle and environment without the I guess cultural guilt behind it because there's this concept especially within Caribbean culture of taking care of your own almost to the detriment of yourself um, I really don't have the capacity if I'm completely honest Especially when it's like surrounded by people who aren't appreciating what you're doing, don't make you feel seen, and remind you constantly of all the ways in which you failed. And in some way, they think this is some pep talk for you to be greater. <laughs> um yeah I still haven't transferred over to my fall clothes cause <sighs> this is the type of shit I'm talking about and I'm about to start tearing up like <sighs> I don't have the energy or capacity to do a lot right now and Instead of being helped, I mean to feel guilty. And there's just no comfort, really. Um, I guess I could do it little by little. It's only now starting to get a little bit cold 
So, um, kind of maneuver, I could kind of maneuver what's out or what's in the giant basket that I'm always having to fold stuff with, um, for, or whatever the word is right now. Um, I lost train of thought about the other thing I was going to say. Anyway, I think this is long enough. I gotta set up some um, tests, so I need to schedule that today, and gotta refill my pill thing. Yeah, those are the top two things, and then I'll consult my planner, because I did write some stuff down last week. Um, I didn't really have an interest in really doing much because the lady was home and just a mess, just an absolute mental health disaster. Um, yeah, it all came crashing down for me, I think. Over the weekend, I can't remember if it was Sunday, I had a complete anxiety attack in the bathroom I lived but um it was a lot um I also gotta reorganize my skincare well mostly my body care and put like the more thicker stuff to the forefront and see what scents I'm looking to rock as it gets chillier because I sort of um there's some scents I wear whenever like the cleaner scents is whenever but um usually I'll put the citrus to the back and bring forth the like stronger type scents um for when it's cold like the things I only wear during chilly weather um, like Fireplace by um, Replica, but that's perfume, um, but that's an example. More so what I'm organizing is um, Fine Fragrance Mist because I don't really have that many perfumes that we're in use organizing. Um, things like that for me are in travel size because they're hella expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the more expensive ones are, the more expensive type perfumes I have in the smaller size. So they don't really need organization because they're in like a little tin thing. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I've covered most of what's on my mind, um, I guess I could come back at a later time if there's an update or anything else I wish to share. But I do thank you for watching this video. And if you've watched the whole thing, leave the little heart hands emoji or a black heart. Oh. Okay. Bye.